Breast cancer is the most common cancer in women except for skin cancer. Now, currently, the average risk of a woman in the United States developing breast cancer sometime in her life is about 13 percent. This means there is a one in eight chance she will develop the disease. Now, over the years, there have been many advancements that help detect breast cancer early and ultimately save lives. Well, this morning, we're discussing yet another breakthrough technology that increases the efficiency and accuracy of mammography screening. Joining me is Dr. Brandon Sue, board certified physician in family medicine and CEO of Lunit. Welcome, doctor. Hello, thank you for having me. It's a great pleasure. And it's a pleasure to have you. Doctor, before we discuss more about this, I just want to uh, go through a few more statistics for our viewers. Listen to this. According to the American Cancer Society, more than 281,000 new cases of invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed in women. About 49,290 new cases of ductal carcinoma will be diagnosed, and about 43,600 women will die from breast cancer. I mean, the numbers are still alarming, aren't they? Yes, definitely. Um, it's it's uh, definitely a major disease. Uh, the surprising thing is, even if you get your mammograms checked regularly, uh, around 30% of breast cancer is missed. So there's definitely uh, a lot of improvement that needs to be made. And let me share something with you about missing something. I, for example, and I know a lot of women can relate, have extremely dense breasts. So I get my yearly mammogram and my ultrasound. Uh, is that enough or is there something more that we can look forward to? Yes, um, as I told you, it's, it's not ideal, the, the current standard of care. So there's definitely a lot of room for improvement, um, especially it's, it's so with dense breasts, which is very common, like one, one third to one half in the women in the U.S. have dense breasts. And the problem is it's so difficult, it gets even more difficult to read the mammograms properly with dense breast. Uh, for example, the overall accuracy level of mammography is over 90 percent, but it gets as low as 70 percent in dense breast. Using state-of-the-art technologies like uh, artificial intelligence can definitely help. And uh, for instance, um, we at Lunit, uh, we developed an um, AI-based algorithm that can significantly improve the accuracy level of radiologists uh, when reading mammograms, hmm. um, and we validated it to be to go um, to increase the accuracy uh, by 20% of the radiologists uh, by the AI, um, and it has been validated in over 20 studies um, published in major journals like JAMA Oncology and Nancy Digital Health. So that's fascinating, doctor. So if, let's say someone like me or someone else that has dense breasts and something is missed, this uh, the software can maybe see something that a radiologist can't spot. Tell me how it works. And I just want to clarify, this does not replace mammography or ultrasounds. This is just kind of like an extra tool. Yes, it's basically a tool that are given by uh, to radiologists so that they can use um, as an assistant tool. Uh, so basically the AI analyzes the mammogram images and detects uh, breast cancer and presents the analysis results by marking the area that is suspicious of cancer so that the radiologist can refer to it and, 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 and help, help them out in terms of the decision. So AI is very similar to how our brain works. So just like humans, uh, the AI learns from practice and experience. And our AI has been trained on over 250,000 cases hmm. of mammograms. And that's like 120 years of, of radiologist experience. Um, so a radiologist, um, if, you, if he or she has like 20 years of experience, uh, he or she is said to be an expert. So the AI, that's like six times of that. So naturally, it has more experience, leading to a very high accuracy level. Um, and according to our studies, our AI has shown that 40% of breast cancer patients can be diagnosed earlier. Um, so when we looked at the prior images of uh, the images of uh, breast cancer patients taken two or three years before, so they were actually judged to be normal uh, back then. But in those uh, prior images, the AI actually picked up the breast cancer that was kind of invisible to the human eye. Wow. So if those patients would have used AI, uh, she would have been diagnosed with uh, breast cancer like two or three years earlier, which could have been the difference between a cure and no cure. Oh my goodness, doctor, that is fascinating. Such a helpful tool. How would I ask my doctor for this? Um, so our products are FDA approved and um, actively being commercialized uh, in the U.S. We have over 500 medical uh, sites, uh, customers throughout the world in over three, uh, 38 countries. Uh, so it's still early, but your doctors are definitely aware of this technology, so they can help you uh, find sites that have either our products or other products like ours. Uh, so 
talk to your doctor and be proactive, and sooner or later you'll be able to find um, a site and have your a mammograms analyzed by AI. Great information, doctor. So glad we're creating this awareness. For our viewers who'd like to know more, where can they go? Is there a website? Yes, we do have a website in lunit.io where you can find more information regarding our company and our AI product. So please feel free to visit our site. Thank you, doctor. So appreciate your time and the information you just provided to us. Thank you. We need to save more lives. And if you'd like more information about this, you can go to our website, thebalancingact.com. We'll be right back.